Again, welcome to Java Programming. This is a lab work, and this is our second lab work. So in this lab work, we're going to learn how to display message as the previous lab work we did. Here we are going to display five messages. So we start with the main class again. Again, the file name will be display five message. That's the name of the main class. Inside the main class, we have our main method again. Then in our main method, we have our statement. We want to execute these five statements. And this is going to print welcome to Java strings five times. So again, if for example, I want to print 100 messages, the same message, I may use a loop because I don't want to write system.out.println 100 times. It will take very long. So we are going to use a loop. For now, we're going to display these five messages. So the main objective in this lab, again, more once more how to display messages on the screen. That's our monitor. So here we're going to click on build, then we compile it first. Uh, operation is complete. And again, this is our Apple screen. I'm using the JGraphs. Operation is complete. So here I'll click build again, then I'll run it as application. And I can see my five messages. Welcome to Java, welcome to Java in each line five times. And the last one, five times. So that will be the conclusion of our first code. Now let's go to our second code. So what I'm going to do now, I'll click on file and click on new. I need a new source file. And I'm going to get our second code. So let's go through to the, our second code, what they want us to do. So here they say an area and a parameter of a rectangle. So here we are going to write a program that will make it possible for us to find an area and a parameter of a rectangle. So write a program that display the area and the parameter of a rectangle. The width is 4.5 and the height is 7.9. We are going to use the formula for the area as a width times height. So here, we are not learning how to declare variable yet. In our next lab work, which will be lab work unit two or chapter two, we're going to learn how to declare variable, etc. So here, we are learning how to display values, but including arithmetic operation. So here I have my main class again. This time my main class name is area parameter rectangle. Then I have my main method. First, I'm going to display the area. So the area is the width times the height. So the width is 4.5, the height is 7.9. So in Java, asterisk is the multiplication. Again, we went through this in our lectures. If you check the lectures number two, we have five arithmetic operations, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, and modulus. Modulus give us, when we divide two values, the remainder, will give you the mod loss. So for example, seven mod loss two, the answer will be one. Because when I divide seven by two, I will get six and the remainder is one. So mod loss gives us the remainder when we divide two values. So first we display our area, which is 4.5 times 7.9, the width times the height. And second, we are doing addition multiplication to find the parameter we have to add the four side of the rectangle. But since we know rectangle have two sides are equal, the heights are equal, the width are equal. We have four sides. So we can say the parameter of a rectangle will be two times the height plus the width. So here we have 4.5 plus 7.9. You can see how it's in, in a regular college algebra or arithmetic. When I put a parenthesis, parenthesis means multiplication. But in programming language, including Java, parentheses doesn't mean multiplication. It means we want to do the first expression here before we multiply. So you can see that we have two multiply asterisks, then the parentheses 4.5 plus 7.9, which means we are going to add 4.5 plus 7.9, the 
the answer we get, we multiply by two. So even we use a parenthesis, we still have to use the multiplication sign, telling us that two is multiplied by the values in the parenthesis. So let's run this program. So again, the main objective here is how to display values with our formula, arithmetic expressions. So I'll go to build, then I'll go to compile, and I have a save it here, so I'll click save. And they give us the name to be area parameter rectangle Java. So I'll look if the class name is the same, area parameter rectangle. So it's the same, so I'll click save here then. And I'm going to create the previous output I have. And so let me compile one more time so I'll see only. Well, so here we have operation complete. Now we go to build, run as application. So we can see the answer here. The first answer will be 35.55, and the second answer will be 24.8. So we multiply this to 4.5 times 7.9 will be the area. Then 2 times 4.5 plus 7.9 in parentheses is the parameter. And that is 24.8. So the goal of this, this is again the beginning Java code. This is chapter one, how to display messages. And this time how to display values and expressions, uh, arithmetic expressions. So let's go through the last one. So I'm going to open a new source file. So I'll go to file new Java. I'm going to create my output screen. Then we go through the last code for, for this lab work. So in this lab work, this we are going to find the average speed in miles. So assuming that a runner runs 14 kilometers in 45 minutes and 30 seconds. So a runner runs a 14 kilometers in 45 minutes and 30 seconds. Write a program that displays the average speed in miles per hour. We should note that one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers. Remember they gave us the distance in kilometers so we have to convert it to miles per hour so that's why they give us the hint here one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers so first we have to write this form again we are not using variable anything we just want to display the answer so first you can see the formula we wrote down here we divide 14 by 45.5 uh, 45.5 is the same as 45 minutes, 30 seconds. 30 seconds is 0.5 hours. So we have 14 kilometers. So just dividing 14 by 45.5, then I multiply by 60. That will give me the number of kilo, uh, the kilometers is 14 and we convert this 45 minutes 0.5 times 60. So we can see that if I have 45 minutes and I multiply it 45.5 and I multiply it by 60, I'm changing it to seconds. But this time I multiply, I divide 14 by 45.5. The answer I get, I divide by 60, which means I'm changing it to hours because here we have 45 minutes, 30 seconds, is the same as writing 45.5 uh, minutes. We change the 30 seconds to minute, half of it. Then we, when we divide the 14 kilometers by 45.5 minutes, that will give us the ratio of what? One kilometer per minute. So we divide the answer by 60. And the answer we get here, much, sorry, multiply by 60. Then the answer we get, we divide by 1.6. 
which means we're converting our answers again to miles. The question said, write a program that would display the average speed in miles per hour. So one dividing by 1.6, that will convert it to miles for us because we know one mile is 1.6 kilometers. So if I divide, if I have miles, I will multiply by 1.6 to change it to kilometers. If I have kilometers, I'll divide by 1.6 to change it to miles. So what we did here is for us to change, to find per, I have 14 kilometers. So 14 kilometers per minutes, then I'm going to have 14 divided by 45, it's 45 minutes by 30 seconds. So I divide by 45.5. But we are converting it to hours, miles per hour. So we have to, whatever we get by 60 again. Then we divide by 1.6 because we are changing the kilometers to miles. Again, the best way to do this is to use a variable to assign the values. Then we divide the variable names. But we're going to do this in our next lab. The goal here is how to display. Um, numbers and also arithmetic expressions on the screen. So because I want to divide 14 by 45.5 first, I put them in parentheses. The answer I get, now I can multiply the answer by 60 and divide by 1.6. So let's run this program. So we go to build, compile. Yes, we need to save it. Give us the name average speed miles dot Java that is correct. And we have operation complete. So next we go to build again, then run as application. And we can see our results here. So our answer will be 11.53846. Again, later on we're going to learn how to format our output. To, uh, to reduce the decimal places maybe to two, which we no normally call the precisions. I will reduce it to two. But for now, again, learning how to display message on the screen and also values and formulas. So this will be the conclusion of our second and final lab for chapter three. We went through, a chat, sorry, chapter one. We went through again four, programs to cover how to display both strings and values and also arithmetic formula on the screen. So again, uh, this lecture will be on my YouTube channel. Again, if you have any comment or like or to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'll be very glad. So thank you very much.